Hello children myself mrs arti i now welcome you all to the online class children today i am here with the subject that is mathematics today i am here with the subject that is mathematics children in the previous session you have learned about the first chapter of mathematics first chapter we have already completed children the first chapter name is spaces and shapes this chapter already we have learnt and in today's session we are going to start the second chapter of our subject maths the second chapter name is counting numbers counting numbers 1 to 9 is the second chapter name children here we are going to study the numbers from 1 to 9 okay children before starting the chapter do you know the definition of counting numbers children yes i will tell you first the definition for counting numbers counting numbers is nothing but the the numbers which is which are used to count the objects children the numbers which are used to count the objects is called counting numbers the numbers which are used to count the objects are called counting numbers see so children here i will show you one example what is this this is a flower these are all are flowers so this is one this is two this is three and this is four so there are how many flowers children there are four flowers how we have counted these flowers with the help of numbers so the numbers which are used to count these objects they are called counting numbers i hope you all have got the clear picture for clear picture for the definition of counting numbers now let us move further children first we are going to discuss about to count and read children here you have to count the numbers i read count and read you have to count the pictures and you have to read the numbers first see children first is one flower is there so here is one number and the number name is o m e one second there are two mangoes one two so i have written here two t w o two one two three three boats so the number is 3 and the number name is 3 t h r w e 3 next 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 
Now let us move to the next topic. That is count and write. Children, this you have already learnt in your previous session. You have to count the objects and you have to write the number. First here you see there are how many apples are there? One, two, three, four. Four apples means how how we will write the number? The number we will write it as four. Four number. The number we can you tell me the spelling children? Yes, the spelling for four is Y O U R four. Four. Y O U R four. four. Next, here how many stars are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Total how many stars are there? Total there are six stars. So here I will write as six. The number six means we will write six as like this. This is six. And the number name is yes. I X six. So I will write here as yes I X yes I X six. Here come the yes children. There are how many yes? Three yes. One, two, three. What three yes are there? So here I will write as three. The number is three. This is three. And the number name is T H R double E three. So here I will write as T H R double E three. So children, this is how you should count the objects and write the number as well as number names. Here we have written four. Here for you are four, six. Here is I six three T H R double E three. Like this, you should do more examples, children. You should draw the object and you should try to count and write the number and number things. Now, let us move to the third thing. That is count and group, children. You should count and you should group. Okay. Now, let us see how we should count and group the objects. Here, the question is five flowers. Here, there are. Here in the box there are flowers are there, and the question is you should group only five flowers. Okay, the question is five flowers you should group. Now first in the box we should see how many flowers are there. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six flowers are there in the box. But here how many flowers we should group? We should group only five. Okay. Now let us group only five flowers. So children, this is one, two, four, three, four, five means up to here. We should group like this. See, we should do a group. So the question is only five flowers. We should group. We have grouped one, two, three, four. Five, five flowers over. We have grouped it. Five flowers. Next, four jellies. Here in the box, there are eight jellies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight jellies are there in the box. But we should group only four. So, are you ready to group the jellies, children? Yes. I will group here. This is. One, two, three, four. So this is a group of four jellies. We have grouped four jellies. Next, the question is two ice creams. Here, how many ice creams are there in the box? There are three. How many we have to group now, children? We have to group only two. Two. Two means one, two. This is one, and this is two. So I will group like these two ice creams. Okay, children. Have you got the picture of how to group the objects here, children? You should count and group. You should count the objects and you should start grouping them. For any number, you can group, children. So that here seven means you should group to seven. Four means only four. Three means three. For any numbers, you should try to be able to. Group 
the contact to the objects okay now let us move to the next topic that is number 9 num numeral 9 number names the next topic is numeral 9 number names numbers are written in two ways children the numbers are written in two ways now let us see how they are written the symbol of the number is called numeral the symbol of the number the symbol of the number is called numeral for example children this is 6 5 4 these are called numerals the symbol of the number is called numerals the number written in word is called number name the numbers which are written in the word such as s i x this is called number names and these are called numerals so in two ways we can write first we can write in the form of numerals and we can also write the number in the form of words so in two forms we can write the numerals number names numeral means the symbols children such as 6 number 5 number 4 they are called numerals and the numbers which are written in the words such as o a b y t w o 2 that is called number names so this is the difference between numeral and number names numeral means only numbers children 1 2 3 only numbers number names means here you will write the spelling you should write the spelling such as o a b y t w o 2 this is called number names this is the difference between numeral and number names so here there are given one example student write the numerals here the number name is given already number name is o n e one number name they have given we should write the numeral numeral is already known the children o n e one means how we will write the symbol yes this is the symbol this is the numeral so this is the numeral and this is the number name here they have given the number name for name we should write the particular number this is one s e v e n s e v e n means the number is seven so here i will write as seven okay next yes o u r f o u r means it's called four four number do you know children how to write yes i hope you all know four i will write here as like this okay next is nine n i n e nine nine means how you will write yes this is the number nine okay next is eight e i g h t eight Eight. Do you know, children, how to write the number? Yes. Eight. We will write as nine. Eight. Okay. Next. Yes. I X. Yes. I X means it is a six. It's a six. So here I will write as six. So children, we have written one, seven, four, nine, eight, and six. so you can repeat you can do practice children like this for any number for two you can write for five six any if the numeral is number is given means you should write numeral and if the numeral is given means you should write the number name so children this is how we can write the number and number names so so children in this session we have covered four bits which are those Yes, I will tell you. We have learnt about count and read, count and write, count and group, and the numeral and number names. These four bits we have learnt in this session, children. So what you should do now? You should practice these four bits in your rough notebook, children. You should practice all these four bits in your rough notebook. This completes the. today's session children in the next session i will be coming with the new bits of the 
chapter thank you children have a good day